In this video, we will show the steps that are required to display a custom status reason in the SmartIT Ticket Console and also discuss a few common issues that are reported after implementing such customizations. The SmartIT documentation lists the forms that require updates when adding a custom status reason, depending on the ticket type where the update needs to be applied. The general steps to add a status reason are then in Developer Studio, add the new custom status reason to the ITSM request forms as listed in the table at the top of the screen as well as the SMT Union Smart IT Ticket Console form. Then in mid tier register the new status reason in the SIS Status Reason Menu Items form, followed by a rebuild of the Union Database Views for the Smart IT Ticket Console, and finally a refresh of the cache of the Smart IT servers. In this video, we will use change requests as an example and show the steps to add a new custom status reason for the pending status for change requests. We start in Developer Studio by updating the CHG Infrastructure Change form. In the outline, locate the status reason field. Overlay the field. Add it to the view overlay. And set the overlay type in the other section to overwrite. Expand the selection attributes and click add. Add the new selection value, in this case, CHG custom SR with a unique enum ID. In this case, we set 32001. Save the update. Now perform the same update to the CHG change interface create form. We can then move on to the SMT Union Smart IT Ticket Console. Select the status reason field and perform the same steps as were performed on the other forms. We then have to set an enum ID for the new selection value. In this case, I leave a small gap to the out of the box values and set value 100046. Then go and save the updates to the form. Next, we need to open the Sys Status Reason Menu Items form in mid tier and register the new value on the depending status. Select New Request. For form name, choose CHG Infrastructure Change. Select the pending status from the drop down. Add the CHG Custom SR status value. For menu order 1, I set 0. For selection code, set the value 32001 that was added for the selection value in the Infrastructure Change form and save. Next up is to rebuild the database union views for the SmartIT Ticket Console. So we go to the SHR Union Configuration Console, select SmartIT Ticket Console for the implementation area, and then choose the Build Rebuild option to rebuild the views. Finally, as SmartIT Server caches selection values, we need to clear its cache. Now in versions 2008 and later, you should be able to go to the Screen Configuration in SmartIT and select Refresh Server Cache for this. However, for version 2002, there is a defect where the selection values are not recached when we use that option, and instead we need to restart SmartIT servers. As this is a 2002 Hotfix 13 system, let's restart the servers. If we then go back to SmartIT, we can open the ticket console and add the status reason column. Both requests currently have the out-of-the-box on-hold status reason value. Now let's open change request with ID 2 and set the new custom status reason value for it. If we then go back to the ticket console, we can see the new status reason value. Finally, support cases regularly come in reporting that the status reason value is not visible on the ticket console after applying this customization. There are two common scenarios. The first one where data generally shows in the ticket console, but both status reason and status columns are blank, or they show unexpected values. And when filters are applied on the console that include filtering on the status field, no requests are returned. In this case, the most likely reason is that the bypass enum value conversion was set during the last rebuild of the union database views.
and both the status and status reason fields rely on this conversion. So in this case, go back to the configuration console and rebuild the views without selecting that bypass option. Then go back to the ticket console and check if the status and status reason values are now showing. Another common issue is where the newly added custom status reason is not displaying, while other status reasons are showing in the ticket console. This is normally either caused by one of two things. Either the step to rebuild the union views was missed, or on a pre-2008 system, the Smart IT server was not restarted to recache the selection values. We go back to the configuration console and once more rebuild the views. Once that step completes, we can check if the custom status reason is showing in the ticket console. Should it still not be showing after the rebuild, and you are on a pre-2008 environment, perform a restart of the Smart IT servers to recache selection values and see if that clears the issue. Should the problem still persist after this restart, we should go back over the steps that were described in this video and see if no other required steps were missed. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you found it helpful. Please visit the BMC Remedy and Discovery channel on YouTube to watch other related videos and hit the subscribe button to never miss an update.